Hello, my little maniacs. This is your host, the Maniacs Gaming, coming back at you with some more State of Survival gameplay. But first of all, let's go to our sponsors. So once again, we are being sponsored by Blue Stacks. Support me as well. You know, just check it out for an awesome game. I personally play it, and I've enjoyed it so far. So, you know, definitely go ahead and check that out. Anyway, first of all, I want to apologize for taking a little break there. For those that are college students, you'll know that this week was finals week, so I was a bit preoccupied between studying and all that fun stuff. But we're back now, and obviously, as you can see, we are now HQ level 13. So... First thing we're going to do is go over everything that's new. There's not much really different. Another furnace. Yeah. Furnace. So we now have four furnaces. That's the most furnaces you get. As of this point. So we'll go ahead. Upgrade as far as we can go. And since it's only a minute. After getting resources. Because... Let's send my troops out. Go do that. Go ahead and upgrade that. Oh, hello. There's our resources. And I believe that's really all that's new. Yeah, that's all that's new. And then obviously everything else gets upgrades, obviously, to go into level 13. That's the main difference between HQ 13 and 12. Besides increased march size that you get every time. So, that's nice. So, we're just going to go ahead and do this real quick. Get more bio caps going. So, for those that aren't aware, today a new update was released. The newest update added is State Warfare Event. So, the State Warfare Event is a chance to compete against other states for points and then the capital itself. Chiefs can complete the task during the preparation stage to earn points. Prepare to take control of the capital in the ultimate cross-state capital clash. And the alliance that controls the capital at the end will win. And also, chief stamina provided by the final hope supplies have been increased from 60 points to 80, where squad stamina prov provided has been reduced from 60 to 40. It also now consumes chief stamina instead of squad stamina to send out a hero squad to a plague zone. And the tutorial has been optimized for eliminating infected that invaded the settlement. It's all fun and dandy. But for those of you that are more paying attention, if my lovely banner here, you'll see we have events going on. A line throw down, but yeah, I, I haven't been really doing that honest so let's see what's something really easy I can do uh, this one works just to start getting some points so this one so Becca's mom used to love beautiful flowers and so apparently you are gathering flowers for Becca's mother's memory I guess oh it's for Mother's Day we're collecting the flowers for her and her mother interesting so with this there's new events the wreath of love that you can get flowers to put on the reef and when you hit certain points you'll get rewards seen here each level has different points and if you buy the pass you get extra rewards obviously nice pretty decent rewards we also got the seven day event similar to the survival of the fittest this one you get points for using bio caps and using speed ups yay okay that's fun I don't really use bio caps so that's kind of disappointing but we also have most beloved where you get points for doing certain goals so we will go ahead and do a bunch of these start grinding some of those out 
But first, just so we can say we did something, uh, let's see, what's a long upgrade? Hero Precinct. Yeah, yeah. Grab some of these resources. We need to some troops have to gather more. I'll do that before I leave. Oh, gather my new supplies. And bam. There we go. Make that all nice and dandy. And ooh, we got a bunch of those to accept. I'll accept those later on. Oh yeah, as par part of this event, we do have another event. That's par part of the whole Mother's Day. No, it's not a lion throw down. I know, it's quite sad. That's not. Infected Gardener. So, you can actually attack this Infected Gardener for different rewards. These are some of the rewards you can get. Flowers, bio caps, chief experience, and hero experience. But you need a water can. So you can get these in a variety of different ways. Infected Fiends, Alliance Donations, and Alliance Help. So that's pretty cool. And of course, we also got the one that shows you how to get more flowers uh, through using speed ups, killing infected, gathering resources, exploring, collecting settlement resources, and using the bio caps. As you saw, we did earn one earlier when we first grabbed all our lovely resources after coming in. We're going to go ahead, grab the resources so we get to get some more going. Go ahead, upgrade these. I am intentionally not going to speed those up. And we'll go out into the world. Here we are. Everything slowly loads in. We'll go ahead, go to our intel, and see all. We're gonna just attack, take out all these lovely infected. Make sure they'll give us points for this. We should cut set in half. Off those go. Nice, there we go. And we did get a few reefs, so we'll go ahead, use those up to get our points. Collect our lovely level rewards, that resources to start, so that's always lovely. We also got points in the bio cap stage, so that's kind of lovely, since we did use a few. We got more of the lovely flowers to use, which I'll go ahead and just use those in bulk at the end of the ep of this video. So that's lovely. As you can see, we got the squad going in, taking out that infected. I do want to check. Do th does this count for Alliance Throwdown? Yes, it does. Okay. We found even more flowers, so that's always lovely. Yes, yes, guess. Lucky sign on the channel, on the Facebook page. I don't use my Facebook account very often, but I do have one, The Maniacs Gaming. If you guys want to sub follow that, I do post occasional videos on there, but they're all available on YouTube. So, not much of a point. I may at some point post videos on my Facebook page that is only for my Facebook page but as of right now I have no plans on doing that it's just another way for me to reach out to people and that way I can actually post without you know needing more subscribers I can just write a post real quick to get pe word out to people about something going on so you know go ahead follow that it's a group Facebook page you know like it and you'll get updates from me or see videos being posted 
Ooh, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Troops should be home. Yep. Alright, we'll go ahead. Get that top one. So yeah, as you can see, this event, really easy. You know, you just gotta kill infected and use up squad stamina. How hard can that be, right? You know, this one I can send two out at the same time. So, you know, it's pretty easy. And I can see, you know, probably because of you, Chef. But you do get login rewards on day one. For each day, log in five days, you get all five. Stamina, use up stamina. The 1800, you get all of them. This goes on for seven days, so you know, seven days, 1800 stamina. Not a whole lot of stamina per day. Infected, four, whoa, 80. Again, that's about 10, 12 a day. It's not that many. Considering, you know, I can sit here and do f t two of these in about two minutes. So, you know, as long as you got the stamina to back it up, you pretty much can get a lot done in a day. But, you know, I'm doing it in the lovely recording session I have set up. So, you know, I definitely recommend it. Just because, you know, I recommend doing it just because, you know, free resources and boot bonuses. Like, you know, you can get speed ups from these events and all that other fun stuff. So, you know, why not do it if you have the time? You know, it doesn't take much. For these ones, you just have to send your troops out. You don't even have to be online for that. So, you know, it makes that very easy to be able to do. We're just mostly speeding up our research just to get points for the biocap stage. Just so I can get the points for that one. Because, hello, I'm going to want those points. Because, you know, these are pretty good rewards. You know, if you get the max, you get bio caps, medals, books, experience, resources, speed ups. Like, hello, that's pretty good. And you also get flowers for doing the ta these kill infected tasks. So, you know, that's like three things for the price of one. It's pretty good. You know, you're using up stamina, you're killing infected, which gives you a points, and you're getting flowers, which gives you points to the other event. So, you know, that's pretty easy. So, I recommend doing it just because, hello, come on. Free points, and you get real good rewards. Let's see, what's going on with the heroes? I think it's just heroes need levels. Yep. Also, for those who don't know, last episode we did a little bit of a spend spending spree with 25 bucks. We have Lucky now, who is our strongest hero. By, f I think actually by quite a bit. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Because, you know, Legendary is better than Rare and Epic, you know. So, you know, she's a bit, she's got some power behind her. You know, I have her on my main account maxed out. Rank wise, I don't have her maxed out level wise because I don't have enough experience books for that. And she's my best hero by far, still. She's one of my best heroes since I've gotten her maxed. You know, I've got a bunch of other legendary heroes too, though, because I've gotten some for free, some I've spent money on. Well, it is possible to get some for free. Oh, hey, Jane's ready for some upgrades. So let's go ahead and get that going. So this brings us up to 15 since we can upgrade her twice. And gets her the first lieutenant, which unlocks a new skill for her. That's always lovely. Then we can upgrade her level. And get her more get her power going up again too. Cause you know, more powerful heroes we got the more powerful marches we can send, so 
Always a lovely thing. No. Ooh. Eva's ready for her upgrade. This will be her first upgrade on second lieutenant, so... You know, not that epic, but still pretty epic. What? That just goes to show you how much more powerful the legendary heroes are than the epic heroes. You know, we got this one. That's Cadet. Stronger than two cadets and a second lieutenant. That's pretty bad. Just saying. You know, that's basically saying, like, <laughs> bye. You know, it happens, you know. Get better heroes. If you can get the legendary heroes, if you get them for free, whether you play the story and you can get them, or if you can, can but I don't recommend it, spend money, do whatever you can to get them. You know, event, there are events that come up to allow you to get them for free without spending money. So, definitely take use that to your advantage. You know, obviously, use everything you can to your advantage. If you can. Because, you know, always nice to be able to do whatever you can to be able to get the best chance you got. You know, using heroes is always a bonus. Getting those heroes, you know, they don't seem like they do much, but getting, uh, you know, heroes up there that are pretty powerful can help you out a bunch when you're being attacked. So definitely getting them up there is always helpful versus not getting them up there. Getting called back to our heroes? Oh, Chef's ready for an upgrade. Another two used. That's lovely. We're just getting these infected down quick and easy. That's always lovely. More flowers. That's lovely. Some lovely bags that we can use. They're still coming home. Alright, alright. Let's go see what... Alright, we're gonna go do Alliance stuff. There are only three of these. Just get some resources. That's nice. And we'll collect this. Whoa, some Travis fragments. Nice. Three of them. Construction speed ups food. More research and training. Wood and combat manuals. Always nice, always nice. It looks like Travis might be ready for his next upgrade. That'll be nice. Always like being able to upgrade my heroes. You know, definitely upgrade them when you can. You know, this one I'm not focusing on events to upgrade heroes. I know, I know. I should, but this is early stages of the account where I can do them so often. I'm not focusing on that, you know, because I really want to get my heroes up there so, you know, I can actually be able to defend myself. Once I get to, like, HQ 20 range, that's probably when I'll start saving up my fragments for events and whatnot. So I can show you guys that aspect. So Travis is ready for an upgrade. Using another three... Nice. Getting him... Just need three more to upgrade... Unlock his next ability. That's always lovely. Now you can see we're still saving up on the search maps. So that's always lovely. Get some lovely rewards. Use these just so we can start building those up again. And we got more bio caps. Always lovely to get. And we got some experience. That's nice. We're going to save those up for something. 
and more bio caps and more bio caps let's go everyone's still coming back so that's nice need to really unlock that third march slot because you know that'd be kind of helpful to be able to send three at once but i don't really have the troops for that quite yet paddock that's a paddock i don't think that's a paddock but okay game You know, it's the interest and stuff that you can find hidden s s places that you find just, you know, just the little things that I find interesting. You know, I enjoy finding weird names for stuff that they put in. You know, Paddock, that's kind of funny. You know. Also, since you know there's an event going on, we did get top up event coming back. So if you top up, you get this, these rewards, plus 7,500 bio caps. So that's kind of nice. Got the Eternal Flowers Pack, which gives you a frame for your he your chief. It's permanent. It gives you flowers, speed ups, and resources, and VIP points and an ally. You also got the c crates of choice. These come up every once in a while. They have different items in each one. You can pick which crate you want. You know they range. Obviously, this crate would have the best. You can only choose one of these four. You know, some have resources. Others, like this one, have the hero gear. This one has chief gear. This one has medals. Then, of course, you got the top-up event. Which, if you get top-up a certain amounts, you do get more res more events. That's nice. You got the battle bundle, like always. And that's, you know... You know, if you look and you can top up, obviously go ahead and do it. Since, you know, you got all these different things going on that you get rewards for. You know, it's the smartest move you could make. There we go. We got a bunch of infected down. And we do got troops back. So, but we don't have any here. So, a lot to do with the old-fashioned way of searching only do a level 8 so there's one really close to us actually so that's nice you know while we're also casually upgrading doing our research in the background to make our troops stronger Ooh, defense formation nice one you know just casually doing this in the background because you know different events and whatnot always a lovely time You know, just being able to do all this stuff, you know, for events and whatnot, since, you know, we got all this stuff going on, might as well. And there we go, we got lovely things going on. Where's all of our lovely troops at? Alright, let's see if we're ready to take on a level 9 yet. There's a level 9 right there. Can we take it on? Yep. When the other one comes back, I may try a level 10. Just to see where we're at that way. Alright. No. No reservoir raid. Bad reservoir. And we'll go ahead, collect our rewards for throwdown that our lovely alliance mates have earned. Because, you know, they're lovely people, and they work very hard to give us nice rewards. You know, I'll have to start pulling my weight here and grabbing some points. I'll be doing that a little bit off camera. Just because I don't want you guys sitting here watching me just doing these random challenges. You know, I've gone over them 
few times for you guys to see so you guys can see how I personally do it you know just pick challenges you think you can do speed up ones are very nice if you have the speed ups just because you can whack those out pretty easily like let's see where am I at with speed ups even hmm I may grab a one of those construction ones just because I have so many speed ups saved up just to get really decent points really quick. Oh, but there we go. We got our challenge done. So, yeah, we'll just throw this on there. Even if we don't get it all, we got two days to finish, so that's fine. <clears throat> go ahead use up all that we can on this also you know it's double purpose because you know we got this and we got the event to use speed that we get points for using speed up so that's always nice looks like we've actually done quite a few things so that's always lovely Our troops are back, so let's go ahead and try a 10. How do I expect this to go? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to wipe it out. Alright, once those troops get back, I think we'll go ahead, claim all our lovely things, and then call it a day. Because, you know, I am very tired from finals. I still got two more to do. It is Wednesday at the time I'm recording this, so... Yeah. Finals are rough, man. But, you know, gotta get that degree. Bam. Bam. That's a nice one to get out of the way. No. Ooh. And there we go. Can't do that one. Get troops training. We still have slap. Oh, oh. Did those just unlock? And I'm just like going blind. They did. We now have T5 guys. Heck yeah. Right, so what I typically do is when I achieve a new tier level, I like to just grab a bunch that I can upgrade. Upgrade them. I'm going to upgrade basically everything that's not T4 to T5. So that's lovely because getting higher tier troops definitely helps out your battle power like so much. Like, I can't even express to you guys how happy I am over that. Like, that could be one of the best moments right there is finally getting T5. Obviously, I'll be way more excited when I get T10s, but... You know, that's going to be a ways down the road before we get to that point. But still, it's very exciting to be able to get something good. All right, everyone's home. So let's go ahead and check out these lovely rewards we're going to get. We'll do Reef of Love last because we're going to get more flowers from everything else. So for this one, we were able to get the second stage because, you know, it does take a lot of speed ups. But I'll probably be using more of those just to finish off that that lovely one. And we have done a... not you, but you got a lot of flowers to use, so that's nice. We have done 11 infected in that time frame. See, like I said, guys, very simple. We've used 108 chief stamina to be able to get a rewards one. More flowers and maps. Nice. I don't think we did anything down here. Oh, 
power sprint. Nice. I don't even know what the... Yeah, just increased power. So that's nice. A biker carnival. Go ahead and claim my rewards for that, I get So I can just get the rewards for that. And I guess... We'll go ahead... Use all of our lovely flowers. Huh. They I don't know if this was done intentionally, but uh it's flowers with an extra S. It's kinda of funny. But as you can see I see I grind I was able to grind out stamina and infected and points to get flowers very easily, so you know. Very simple guys, just focus. You can do it. And there we go. We'll go ahead. Claim our speed ups. More maps. Nice. And that. And we'll go ahead get this upgrade in. Use our speed ups on that. Get the farm going as well. Use the speed ups on that. Yeah. And we'll get research lab. Do tech improvement. Only gonna take a minute, so. We're gonna use both of these one minute speed ups just because. Yeah, we're just gonna finish this off. I know. Use them a five minute. Oh my god, how many of these... I still have a bunch of these one minute ones to do. Dear god. My whole lab looks kind of messed up, doesn't it? Alright. There. Oh, for god's sakes. We're just going to let this one go. Okay, come on. Give me one. We're going to let this go. Alright, guys. That is going to do it for me today. For this this episode. Go ahead and just get that going. But, you know, we made some nice progress on t on it. Headquarters 13. Got a bunch of these lovely upgrades that we needed to get done out of the way early. So that's always lovely. Heck, we might be getting ready to go to 14 next episode. Because all we got left is our warehouse. These three over here. A lot of resource buildings, but those are pretty easy. And a range. These two over here. Range and garage. Research lab. Our, mar our trader post, and then our lovely assembly point and command station. So, those. So, hopefully, in the next episode or two, we'll be getting ready to go to 14. That'd be nice. Once we get 15, we get gas. Yeah! Who doesn't like gas? But anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Just as our lovely video reminder, 100 subscribers will be a live stream at some point. Haven't been able to decide when yet, but, you know, keep up the good work. We are currently at 79. I did lose two subscribers due to my little break I had to take there from finals. So that's very unfortunate, but still, only 21 away. So, you know, keep up the good work, guys. Get me to 100 subscribers for a live stream Q&A with some lots of gameplay. Got a, I'm working out a plan with death, hopefully, so, you know, hopefully if that all works out, we can get a plan going for you guys. You guys can come see some lovely things. We're working it out, me and him, so hopefully everything works out so we can actually be able to do that. That'd be kind of fun. A lot of it's going to be plague zones. So that'll be fun to do. You know, just be able to upgrade, do some plague zones with him. I think he's gonna. I'm gonna use his main account for that though. 
That way we know we got a little bit of a boost so we can do the higher ones. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be fun to do. So yeah. That's all I got for you guys today. So remember, so just as always, you know, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, 100 subscribers will equal a live stream for you guys to enjoy. Donation link will be down in the description. Make sure to share this video to your friends, especially the ones that are just shout are just starting out. Got a lovely playlist of these videos for them to watch so they can get a good idea of where to go. Be great for them. Great for the channel because you know that's more pub publicity and I will never turn that down. If you have a question, feel free to put it down in the comments. And as always, I will see all of you guys again later. Stay crazy, fam.